Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's another little Christmassy festive treat for you, but it's actually, it's an envelope and it's a handmade envelope. So we don't have the envelope punch board anymore. And every now and again, somebody will say to me, oh, how do you make one of your quirky boxes if you don't have an envelope punch board? Well, the purpose of the envelope punch board was to design unique and unusual. But I was simply fiddling around with some of our, it's the new poinsettia place vellum. And I was looking at it and thinking, what can I do with it? What can I do with it? And then I just started fiddling. So I wanted to show it to you first. Let me bring in my scoring tool so you can see it better. And it's a flocked vellum. It's not a printed vellum. It's flocked. And I really don't know that I'm going to be able to get close enough, half, close enough to you. But if I tilt it, perhaps you can see that it's raised. Yeah, that's not showing. It's raised and it's flocked. You can hear it. So we've got three patterns. So we've got the holly leaves, which is the one I've used here. And then, of course, we have some poinsettias which I will be using on this project. And they're lovely, just lovely. And it's all flocked. And then this sort of, I really don't know, sort of trellis kind of pattern, but lovely. And yes, of course it's vellum. So it's smooth one side, flocked the other, and just charming. So I'm gonna show you how to make an envelope with a piece of six by six. And it's an envelope for a four by four card. So it's 15 by 15 centimeters, we'll make and you could fit a 10 by 10 centimeter card in it, or you could turn it into, you could put a voucher in here, you know, you could maybe stick your voucher to the piece of card, whatever you fancy. Right, super easy. You fold it in half and you pinch just that bit. You're not folding all the way across and the same on the opposite side. So you're just pinching, it's just, you know, markings basically pinch there and there and then the same here and here on the other sides as well so what you're doing is you're pinching at the three inch mark which would be seven and a half centimeters so hopefully you can see I've got a little pinch mark there now I'm going to grab my little half inch um, hole punch paper punch and I'm going to let me get a pen um, so I can mark it and you can see it. This will wipe off, so. Oh, I might zoom in for this a little bit. So that's where my pinch mark there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right across it and punch out a half circle, just like that. And I'm gonna do it all the way round. That does not look like it's at the three inch mark. It is. <laughs> That's like an optical illusion with those poinsettias there. So. Okay, so I've got these little half circles all the way round. And actually, I'm going to stay focused in. Uh, let me get some dark hard stuff. So you can see my half circles there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over like that. And it's a bit more than the half circle. So there's my half circle and there's the other one. Okay. Just check, you can see, oh, here comes a kitten. And when you do it on the opposite side, you will see there's this tiny little overlap just there. So you press down. Hello, Berry. She's standing up. You can't see her because I'm zoomed in. And again, you fold up as far as it will go. And because we've notched out that little hole, that little half circle, again, you've got an overlap. And you can hopefully see that overlap there. <laughs> Hello. The overlap there. <laughs> Seriously, kitten on camera. She's not a kitten, she's three very soon. So you can put, you can see that there's this lovely overlap going. My husband's ringing me. Uh, I'm sending him a message, I'll call you back. <laughs> and then the top one, again, because we've notched out that little bit, we can overlap again. How cool is that? Love it. So a little bit of adhesive down here 
Um, I'm going to use liquid glue. And then. And I'm going to get my really big heavy block. These dimensional backings get everywhere. I think they're going to appear in every single video this week. Right, I'm just going to move that off to one side. So in this one, as you can see, I just want that glue to dry. I've decorated here, but I've done this with sponge dauber. And I fussy cut a little bit of the, um, the matching leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook out with a pair of scissors some of these little flowers, these little ones that are around. So I'm going to have that one. And another one on the edge. I think it's going to be those two. So I'm just going to fussy cut these. And it's entirely up to you as to whether you want to go right up to the flocking or round the edges. I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to go reasonably quickly. And poinsettias, we buy them. It's a very British thing to buy red ones. I don't know if it's the same in other countries. You'll have to tell me. Is it the same? Are the red poinsettia is the thing or do you buy can you get other colors oh i really don't know there's one and i'm going to quickly do these two um yeah do they come in other colors i can remember years ago when i was off at college and i was given an amaryllis bulb and pot that was such a 90s gift wasn't it and it was at christmas time and i had no idea what color it was going to be and about eight months later, it was suddenly a, it was a pink one. So I might just do two because, you know, we could be here all night. Right. What I'm going to do now is grab a sponge dauber. I can't put these things on my fingers. No, not a chance. Hate it. Can't bear putting them on my fingers. So I hold them like that. I know I'm odd. Actually, I do know I'm not the only person. Somebody commented recently when oh, I can't bear them either. And. I'm just going to pick up a bit of the real red and let's get a scrap of card to lean on. This little do. And I'm just dabbing over the flocked part. And that was really badly cut. Oh, I'm not even going to include that one. But what I want to do is actually show you on this bigger one. Oh, zoomed the wrong way. On this bigger one, you get darker red around the edge because it's going onto the vellum directly. Okay, and I just want it on the flocking. So, grab a tissue and you gently wipe. And A, you're not going to get it all over your fingers anymore. But it tints up the colour of the flocked flower more. So isn't that clever? I prefer that one. But anyway, we've done this bit now. So you can change the colour of your flocked vellum if you want to. I love that. I think that's really cool. OK, let's hope this is drying. Oh, that did not dry at all. Did that even try to dry? I don't think that even attempted to dry. Rude. OK, I've got a piece of 4 by 4 cardstock that should just about fit i don't think i cut it right it should fit inside um but it would appear that i <laughs> didn't cut it properly so i'm just gonna notch it down very slow <laughs> i didn't i made it four and an eighth I, thought, I don't even know why i made it four and an eighth four and an eighth but yeah so you imagine that this is a, a, a four by four card or maybe you could put a handwritten voucher or something on there um Pop it inside. It's an <laughs> it's an envelope. Hello, Berry. It's an envelope, so you could make a four by four card, or you could maybe you know do a special voucher. Um, that really does not want to close, does it? <laughs> Note to self: Don't use wet glue. What can I use? I'm looking around on my desk just to keep that shut for now, so I can get the ribbon around. 
I make the mistakes so you don't have to. I'm going to use a mini glue dot just to keep the thing shut. Okay. <laughs> I used red ribbon on there, so I'm just going to grab. Oh my God. Is it honestly, Barry? Don't need your help. Um, I don't know what colour this is. Just jade. So, because, you know, it's a Christmas parcel and all that. And I'm going to make it look like a Christmas parcel by tying it up with pretty ribbon. Just Jade is a lovely colour, isn't it? And the shaded spruce, which was that piece of cardstock through the vellum, looks very Just Jade, I think. OK, that bow is going in completely the wrong direction, but it's all good. And where's my little flocked flower? There it is. That was really badly cut, but, you know, we'll do that. It's OK. And pop it on there. And then finally, just to finish off, we've got these beaded pearls, which are, they're flat backed. They've got pearls on the outside and they're little metal um, clasps, I guess. And then they're flat backed, which is brilliant. Love them. Too cute. I'm not a pearl girl. Oh, that rhymed. I wasn't intending it to rhyme. And there we go. Just a little extra. So that, I think, is a nice, cute way to, like I say, you could make a, a handmade 4 by 4 inch card. <laughs> Look at those claws. Or you could make that a special handmade gift voucher for somebody, you know, maybe a new mum, I'm going to come babysitting for you as a Christmas present, or here's a dinner, or let's go on a date, or whatever it is. But a nice way to show off that beautiful vellum, and it feels divine. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.